Hey everyone, and welcome to Collider Video's Top 10 Pixar Movies. I'm Ashley Mova. I'm Mark Ellis, and this is our celebration of the studio that brought you talking toys, garbage collecting robots, and floating old people. Now this wasn't an easy task, but our crew has managed to rank the greatest Pixar movies of all time. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the best of the best. You're gonna need these. I won't. Just take them. Thank you. Number 10, Ratatouille. Little Remy wants nothing more than to be a gourmet chef. The only issue is that he's a rat. Somehow, we still want to eat all of the culinary delights he creates. A road of becoming a chef doesn't exactly sound like storytelling gold, but Pat Oswalt's underdog rat won our hearts and snuck onto the list. Did you know that director Brad Bird has voiced characters such as a beetle named Dim, a bug's life, a blowfish named Blow, Finding Nemo, and a French chef Gaston from Ratatouille. <sighs> Number nine, Wally. The last robot on Earth is a Showtunes loving trash compactor named Wally, and his simple world gets turned upside down when Sexy Eve comes to town. Smitten and way too cute to be a stalker, Wally follows Eve on an interstellar adventure hoping to find true love. Although it gave the kids some great toy ideas, Wally may have actually been more entertaining for their parents. It certainly belongs in the conversation, but its lack of dialogue and humor might have hampered its place amongst Pixar's finest. Did you know the following items and characters from past Pixar films can be found in Wally's trailer and the trash on Earth? Rex the dinosaur from Toy Story, Barbie's car from Toy Story, Buzz Lightyear's lunchbox from Toy Story, Lightning McQueen toy from Cars, the snow globe from the short film Knick Knack, the bug zapper from A Bug's Life, and an antenna ball of Mike Wazowski from Monsters, Inc. Did did you know the satellite stuck to Wally when he first leaves Earth is based on the design of the original Sputnik satellite? Number eight, Finding Nemo. Clownfish Nemo has a simple life until he tries too hard to prove his worth and ends up stuck in a dentist office. While he tries to escape, his father Marlin and short memory pal Dory, uh, I love Dory, have a clear mission, Finding Nemo. You won't find cuter characters in any animated fair, and vocal talents like Albert Brooks and Ellen DeGeneres are perfectly paired with their aquatic counterparts. You'll never look at a waiting room fish tank the same way again. Mark, did you know the director, Andrew Stanton himself, was a very protective father and was constantly worried about his son until he realized one day he had to let go a little. This realization led to the main story of Finding Nemo between Marlon and Nemo. Number seven, Inside Out. Every mind is comprised of five primary emotions. Even yours? Almost every mind has joy, sadness, fear, disgust, and anger. And in the case of Young Riley, a cross-country move is nothing compared to the adventure going on inside her head. A brilliant concept unlike any other Pixar project, Inside Out teaches us all a valuable lesson in balancing our emotions. It's the most recently released of the bunch, so it hasn't had time to bring us quite as much joy as the rest of the list. Did you know the original idea for the emotions was different when first envisioned? Joy was a star, sadness was a teardrop, anger was a red brick, fear was a raw nerve, and disgust was Ashley. <laughs> I mean, a stalk of broccoli. Sorry about that. Number six, Monsters, Inc. Best pals Mike and Sully work hard at a job they love, scaring the crap out of kids and harnessing those screams to power their city. When a little human girl Boo comes to town, the boys must get her safely back to the human world before anyone notices. Showing kids that monsters under their bed aren't necessarily a bad thing, Monsters, Inc. managed to turn scary into cuddly. Looks can be deceiving, as a furry giant and a tiny cyclops can be your cutest pals. Did you know the genius Frank Oz, known for Yoda, Miss Piggy, and others, came up with the name for Mike Wazowski? Googly Bear. Number five, Toy Story. Two. The toys are back in town, and at this adventure, Woody gets kidnapped by a conniving toy collector. In the process, he discovers his true value and meets cute cowgirl Jessie. Yeah, girl. It's Buzz Lightyear to the rescue, but will Woody even want to go home? 
saying Toy Story 2 is the worst of the series is like picking your third favorite ice cream flavor. It's still delicious, but just not quite as tasty as the other two. Number four, Toy Story. The original, the one that introduced us to Buzz and Woody, the movie that kicked off Pixar's legendary run. The duo have to team up in order to save themselves from a creepy neighbor. Kicking off your company with this premise was risky. Dolls that come to life when humans can't see them? That's a horror movie. But audiences around the world fell in love with the gang, and Buzz and Woody are still Pixar's signature characters. Did you know that Buzz Lightyear's original name was Lunar Larry? What was his catchphrase? To infinity, when I get around to it. Number three, Up. Krusty Carl was about to finally embark on the adventure he always dreamed of, but soon after Balloon set sail his house, he discovers my worst nightmare. A young Boy Scout is floating away with him. Ugh. Building off the classic Disney model, Pixar films can usually make us emotional, but the first 10 minutes of Up rip your heart right out of your chest. You're gonna run through tissues early, but don't worry, a great adventure is soon to follow. Did you know the tree that Carl and Ellie have a picnic under is also featured in both A Bug's Life and Toy Story 2? Number two, The Incredibles. The best thing about retired superheroes? Uh, when they unretire. At the outset of The Incredibles, superpowers are banned, but Mr. Incredible gets a chance to shine when he's sent to do battle against a crazed robot. And when he needs help. That's the first good reason I've heard to get married and have kids. Director Brad Bird infused his effort with a mesmerizing blend of action and comedy. Fast paced and full of heart, The Incredibles teaches us all that for all their abilities, superheroes are still just like us regular folk. Did you know that the original title was actually The Invincibles? And did you know that I took a date opening night to see The Incredibles? How'd that go? Not incredible. Number one, Toy Story 3. And he's going off to college, which means his favorite playthings are getting left behind. But when the toys end up in a creepy daycare center, they'll risk it all to get back home. Toy Story 3 is simply the perfect combination of Pixar's many talents. Characters we love, an exciting adventure, hilarious jokes, and an emotional core that will make even the toughest moviegoers get all sorts of misty ad. Did you know? <clears throat> Did you know? <clears throat> Toy Story 3 is the only Toy Story film to not get 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. It currently stands way down there at 99%. And there you have it, the top 10 Pixar movies of all time. And now it's up to you. Comment on this vid and rank your favorite Pixar flicks. Are you bummed there weren't any talking cars? And don't forget to subscribe to Collider Video's YouTube channel for all of the latest movie-related content. That's Boo, I'm Googly Bear, and thanks for joining us on this adventure. Now, go find a new one.